Hello, and welcome to the floor of a timeshare next to a fireplace. Three, two, one. As you're gonna see in my monthly vlog, I am currently spontaneously went on a weekend trip with the cousin. We are in a place that we hold near and dear to our heart. I don't know what I'm saying, actually. Two of us are in a three bedroom apartment in this place. They have a full kitchen, they have sofa, they have literally a fireplace, as you can see as me sitting on the ground next to it. Oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? I literally cannot speak. I haven't done a sit down with a mic video in so long that I kind of forget how to do it. Pardon me if this is a little choppy and a little questionable. I decided this summer I am going to bring back something that I don't really do as a kid, but I feel like as a kid you would do, or, and that is a summer bucket list. I just wanted to find an excuse to live life a little bit more. This trip honestly was very serendipitous for me because I decided earlier this week that I wanted to make a video about my a summer bucket list, and then my uncle texted me Friday night. I have this timeshare reserved, and we're not going to use it. Do you and anyone that you know want to go? And I was like actually I think I do and then I forced the cousin to come with me because that's just who I am as a human being so we left Saturday afternoon and we're just gonna spend until Monday here it was just like very serendipitous that I was like I want to live life a little more my uncle was like here let me help you do that and he didn't even know here I am on a spontaneous weekend trip it's the vibes I just wanted to do like a summer bucket list type thing because I saw this I think she does it on TikTok but I see it on Instagram of this person doing like things after work to make her feel alive again and that honestly inspired me to do something similar this summer I just want to live life. After coming back from Portugal, I was like, wow, I'm really just thrown into the monotony of life again. And I didn't like it because I was like, I want to do stuff that makes me feel like I'm young, that I'm alive, do things that I enjoy just for the sake of doing them. I just want to feel alive again. I just want to do dumb things. I'm going to do a summer bucket list and I can check one thing off already and that is to go on a road trip. And this is it. I'm probably going to do another one. I am just going to go through with you all my summer bucket list. Hopefully it'll be entertaining and hopefully it'll give you some inspiration and some ideas to maybe fall out of your routine a little bit. The first thing that I want to do is just go find some little free libraries because I think that those are so cute. It's just like I want to see what's in there, what's available. Might be a good way for me to stop buying so many books, although I haven't been reading so I haven't really been buying books, but I digress. The second thing is go swimming. I want to go to the zoo. I feel like this one's kind of weird because I literally was like, as a kid, I didn't really like the zoo because of the smells, but recently I've been like, I kind of want to just go go to the zoo, see what it's all about. I want to go to a fair. Last fair I went to was probably in college. So I feel like that is a summertime activity and maybe like go on a Ferris wheel on a fair, maybe find love on a Ferris wheel, which is not necessarily the main reason, but it could be a, a nice little side quest perhaps. The next thing I want to do is paint rocks. And it's also something that like the person that I got this idea from did. And I was like, that's very cute. Also link their Instagram or whatever below because I want to give credit where credit is due. I want to do a coloring book outside. I think all of these, anything that I can do outside, I will. This is my version of a touch grassathon. I just need to get outdoors, get out of my house more. Recently, it's just been very tiring for me. And then I'm going to do a solo adventure challenge. I bought a adventure challenge book quite a bit ago. So I bought it like a year-ish ago when I first started my channel. And if you watched my weekend alone video, I was going to do an adventure challenge that weekend. And then I just, I just didn't, but I wanted to do one. I want to have a sleepover. By sleepover, I want to do like the classic sleepover I had when I was a kid with a friend, talk until the sun rises about nothing, watch movies, have a classic sleepover. I want to go paddleboarding. I want to go rollerblading because rollerblading just looks so fun and I haven't done that literally since probably I was a kid. I want to have a beach day. I want to go paint outside. This one is like very low barriers. I have literally all the supplies. It's just I have to go outside and do so. Because like I said, this is my version of a touch grass a -thon. I wanna go touch grass. And then my next one is I wanna make a custom cocktail, which I just think is really fun. And it's something that I haven't done before because I don't really drink all that much, but I feel like making a custom cocktail would be kind of fun. Like whether that's a cocktail or a mocktail, I think creating recipes and like drinks would be very fun. I want to have a movie night where I just watch rom-coms back to back. And then I want to run five miles. This one's on here because after my half marathon, I. I just didn't really run all that much. So I want to start running again. I want to take a day trip somewhere. And this one I want to do by myself. Like I don't know where I'm going to go yet. I honestly am creating this video as a way to keep me accountable. So if I put this on the internet, hopefully if I don't accomplish any of these by the end of the summer, someone's going to be like, hey dude, did you even touch grass? And I will have to be like, no, I didn't, which may be the case, but maybe it'll incentivize me to go outside more, live life, be young, be adventurous, be spontaneous, be stupid. Because 
I need to let loose a little more. Other thing is I want to watch the sunrise. And the last thing that's on my summer bucket list is to eat dinner alone. Because like when I was solo traveling, I was very used to eating dinner alone and I was comfortable with it because I was traveling alone. That was my only option. But I think that bringing it back to where I live and my hometown, I just feel weird eating alone. I don't want to feel weird. Like I want to be empowered to be able to eat alone and not think that anyone's judging me for doing so or thinking that I'm a loser or whatever else it may be. Those are the things on my summer bucket list. I am hoping that this motivates me. It won't hurt for me to get outside truly honestly it, it really won't the impetus behind this is just for me to be more spontaneous and to, to say yes to more things because as taylor swift in the one says like i'm doing good i'm on some new shit i'm saying yes instead of no that is what i want to do those are the vibes i want to have that's that that's the video i'm going to include the vlog here i guess here's the timeshare this is the cousin's room the cousin's in there which is a bathroom um a random desk a washer and dryer in here Here's a bunk bedroom. Here's the room that I am going to be staying in. Plus the bathroom that's connected. That's me. Here is the kitchen and then a dining room and then a balcony. The water, that's not the water. This is the living room. That's that's the water. That's the timeshare. And it's actually kind of wild because this is a three bedroom place and there's only two people. We have more bedrooms than we do people, and they thought that eight people were going to be here. And I was like, no, just just two. This is Pesto. That's okay. Ragu. That's the cousin. Don't worry. She will remain anonymous forever. It'll just be a blur of a vision. Currently, we are waiting for our door to be fixed for the second time in the past three hours. Quite honestly, the audio is not great, but we've had worse, so we're just gonna deal. It's like 9 a.m. right now. The cousin is asleep, or she hasn't responded to me, so I assume that she just wants to be alone. So I am just vibing outside. I, I like this. This is great. I am so excited to get my Danish. That's one of the only things that's just been like, I am so excited for this Danish. I'm going to give you guys a quick update on what happened yesterday. Yesterday we got to the timeshare around like six and then we were like, okay, let's just like find some place to eat. So we found some place to eat. When we left, I turned around and I was like, the store isn't closed. I told the cousin, I was just like, just put some chutzpah into it, you know? Like, but maybe you're just not strong enough to close it. She was like, okay. So then I tried and it's like, still didn't close. And I was like, what the heck? What is going on? For the first time, I had to call the maintenance person, but luckily I didn't actually have to call anyone because I hate talking to phone people. I was lucky enough that they had a text service that they offered. So I did that. The maintenance guy came up and he was like, I didn't completely fix your door, but it should just be fine for like the time that you're here and i was like okay thanks but then we came back from dinner and we we're like okay let's hit the pool i would just like to caveat that we did wait the 20 minutes after dinner before hitting the pool as adults we still like to follow that rule i don't know what the science is behind it but i also read like you should wait 20 minutes before you hit the shower after eating and i follow that rule too i'm a rule follower so that's what we're gonna do we tried to hit the pool and then while we were leaving the door didn't close again so then we called the maintenance person again same guy comes up we had our stuff we had our pool towel we were ready to not be in that location he was like you guys can still go to the pool and i'll just fix this and i was like okay and the cousin was like yeah we're leaving around when the pool was closing the maintenance guy came down and was like hey just by the way i fixed your door you have five minutes left in the pool feel free to enjoy the five minutes when you go back to your room and when you make sure the door is working can you just call the front desk he was like, can you just call the front desk to confirm that the door is working for you? I will stay here until you do. I started laughing, which I just like am not good at controlling my face anymore. This man acted like he was being held hostage. He literally said like, I will stay out here until you do. And I'm like, okay, I guess we're not going to spend our five minutes left in the pool. Like, I guess I gotta go. Also, the first time he came, like he said like, oh, can I just Snapchat you? Like, can I Snapchat video you? And I was like, is that the thing now? Like, do people Snapchat video people? Because if we're supposed to give me out Snapchat instead of phone numbers at work, I need to like revise everything that to my co-workers like i gave them my number and i don't want them to think i'm a lame millennial just kidding um they're all older than me slow down hold on tight now it's okay to meet me at the front line i've got cold feet winter drives me wild i can't fly down on the friday i was meant to meet you at your mom's house so i We're about to get Danishes that will solve all of my life problems. I got the goods. Hey guys, so we just called the jet ski thing person place because our jet ski just like won't accelerate and makes a really loud clunking noise and they were like, 
oh, just rock your jet ski back and forth and put some gas on it and it should come out. And I was like, okay. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, stay tuned to see if we're in the water next. Bye. Welcome to the jet ski vlog. We are in the rain. That's the cousin's arm. We got in trouble by the police because the cousin has a need for speed that cannot be quenched. And she was creating waves in a no wake zone, which is just a big no, no. Now we're just spinning in circles in the jet ski. <laughs> nice, here are the vibes. Well, she's having uh, pepperoni pizza hot pockets and I'm having sweet and sour chicken. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this maybe gave you ideas to go outside. Maybe, perhaps, if not, you could just watch me go outside and that might be enough for you. Drink some water because I'm dehydrated, so maybe you are too. Take a sip if you haven't taken a sip in the past hour. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet and you want to, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.